got a video today talking about helmet laws and my thoughts on helmet laws. First of all, I think it's necessary for me to say that I live in the state, state of Ohio, that currently does not have a helmet law. I also probably should say that I spent most of my riding life in states that did have a helmet law. And I'll tell you, when I was in the states that had helmet laws, I complained about how much helmet laws suck, just like everybody else did. Now that I live in a state without a helmet law, I still think helmet laws suck. It's not that I don't think people should wear helmets, or that I think wearing a helmet on your motorcycle is unnecessary. I do always wear helmets. I do think they're necessary. I mean, my helmets are all smell-approved helmets. I don't even wear just a DOT-approved helmet. But again, I have the choice in the state that I live in. I think the government tells us enough what we should and shouldn't do. That I think they need to stay out of our lives in certain areas. I don't think they need to tell us that we have to wear a helmet. I don't think they even have to tell us that we should wear a seatbelt. You want to wear a seatbelt? Wear a seatbelt. You don't? Don't. Seatbelts do save lives, so do motorcycle helmets. I mean, a long time ago, living in a helmet law state, the state of Virginia, I had an older guy tell me when we were talking about helmet choices and helmet laws and so forth, told me flat out, look, here's the deal. You got a $5 head, wear a $5 helmet. Of course, what he was trying to tell me is, buy the best helmet you can to protect your melon. You know, if you don't think your head's worth anything, then don't wear a helmet. But you should have the choice. The government does not need to tell us what we have should or should do or have to do in every aspect of our entire life. Now, I'll be honest, I've tried once or twice riding without a helmet. I felt very uncomfortable. I tried riding my Sportster wearing just a half shell helmet. Even that wasn't comfortable. But it wasn't comfortable because I've spent most of my life on bikes wearing a full face helmet. So I didn't feel protected and I didn't like that feeling. But if you don't want to wear a helmet, I don't have the right to tell you you have to. Now in the state of Ohio, our helmet law, our lack of helmet law, does have a couple of caveats. When you're on your temporary license, you have to wear a helmet. The first year that you have your permanent motorcycle license, your probationary year, you have to wear a helmet. Now, one of the bad things about that probationary year, having to wear a helmet, is an awful lot of people look at other riders that are wearing helmets, especially if they're on a cruiser, and definitely if they're on a Harley. They look at them as though, if you have a helmet on, you must be a new rider. And we all know how nervous we get when we ride in a group around new riders. Same thing with somebody with a paper tag. Well, the problem is, is because of that attitude, somebody with a helmet must be a new rider. All new riders are in a hurry to end that probationary time so they can get the helmet off and ride without a helmet. So, in some ways, 
that law is actually encouraging riders not to wear helmets. Because of that law, too, I see an awful lot of riders in that probationary time or when they're on their temporary license wearing helmets that we would normally deem to be unsafe. You know, helmets that are all scratched up, helmets with the face, full face helmets with the face shield broken off, painted with a rattle can. So these are helmets that if you were in a state with a helmet law, you wouldn't be able to use. And most riders that wear helmets would never consider wearing that helmet out on the street. But people just pass them around. You go on Craigslist and people are selling used full face helmets for 10 bucks. My question is, how many people really would trust a $10 full face helmet to protect their head if they went down? You know the old saying, dress for the slide, not for the ride? You'd never put that $10 helmet on your head if you were dressing for the slide. So like I said, that year is up, helmet comes off, guess what? It goes back on Craigslist for five or ten bucks for somebody else to buy. Because of that also, motorcycle dealerships have very few selections of motorcycle helmets. I mean, you have your half shell, your open face, your full face, all the same brand helmet, all in black. Those are your choices and an awful lot of the dealerships around me. The helmet I'm wearing, I had to order online because there wasn't anybody around near me that had a helmet that I liked, that would protect me, and that I thought looked good. So, back when I lived in Virginia Beach, there was a motorcycle dealership that had a plume that was nothing but helmet. Now, Virginia has the helmet ball, so everyone has to wear one, so I guess more people are buying helmets. Still, you can offer more choices than three. Anybody had to say? Uh, you like what you've heard or seen? Click like and subscribe and make sure to click the bell for notifications. And as always, keep the shiny side up, rubber side down. Have a good day.